Hello everybody, this is Training Gamer back to conclude Group C. Right, in our first matchup, we are going to see Lozange going up against the Champions team. A win for the Champions team and and they will top Group C. If Lozange wins, they will go up, they will go top. They probably won't stay top, but you know, they'll go top for the time being. Right, let's get on with that match, shall we? Intriguing match this could be. Ooh! Oh, hello! Hang on a minute! We're in the Alpha Arena! You know what that means, don't you? The Alpha Cadmosaurus is gonna have terrain advantage! So, for the first time in this tournament, an Alpha Dinosaur is gonna have terrain advantage! Right, anyway, in the red corner, for Lozenge, we got Mega Raptor. Backing up the Mega Raptor, we got Super Baryonyx Awaken Mode on free! At least I hope it's free. I'll probably double check now in a minute. But ooh, Alpha Dinosaur with terrain advantage! Oh, that's exciting. Did, did, did. Right, let's, let's double check real quick. Uh, yep, it's free. I was right. And yes, there it is! The Alpha Chasmosaurus in the Alpha Arena! It'll get the first hit on the Mega Raptor, and it'll be a scissors hit. Oh, that's exciting. Isn't it exciting? I know it's a bot team, but still, it's exciting. We finally got an Alpha Dinosaur to fight in the Alpha Arena. Right, backing up the Chasmosaurus, we got the Rugops. Rugops has also looked strong in this tournament. Well, champ Champions team will always be strong because it's a team consisting of dinosaurs that have won other tournaments. So yeah, a lot of pedigree in this team. So it's no surprise to see the Champions team do as well as they have done. Right, first things first. Ooh, we do the terrain advantage! Okay, they both want to swap when HP is below half, so yeah, makes it easy for me. Ooh, the Mega Raptor. Ooh, it's a banana! Blech. Oh, I think it moved one of his moves as well. Oh, it poisoned it. Oh, it, oh, it removed the paper, the scissors, so. Champion team with all the paper. I'm getting the crit! What a start from the Champions team! Oh, hello! A Rugops is getting in on the act! A Cyclone support effect coming in here, and this is a very good start! Time to swap out the Mega Raptor! Oh, but he's not getting it! Instead, the Mega Raptor's probably gonna die! And this is a very poor start from Lozenge! Oh, he gets another crit! Wow, this Chasmosaurus is dominating! Oh, and he, you know, of course, you know, poison as well. Right, that's one. It's gonna need that Awaken Mode, probably. Oh, it's a tie. Finally, the Chasmosaurus takes damage. Oh, it's another banana surprise! Wow! And the Alpha Chasmosaurus showing us all why he's an Alpha Dinosaur. Dominate in this match like a true alpha. That's twice. Come oh, on, Loz and Jay, get it on the board. Oh, there we go, there's a crit. Won't do as much damage, but wow. Loz and Jay really struggling so far. This Chasmosaurus has been a beast. Oh, oh. Um. Um. Well. If you get a tie, yeah, you get a tie. Oh, he doesn't even get a tie. Oh my god, he gets the head anyway. <laughs> um, yeah. Talk about having terrain advantage. Well, that was opportunity wasted, did it? Mainly because the counter blitz got triggered. Okay, Baryonyx's not done yet. Come on, can you, can you at least kill the Chasmosaurus? I think it's safe to say the Champions team is going to win Group C. Ooh, well, he's going to kill the Barry, the Chasmosaurus. Champions team's going to fail the swap as well. Well, we've seen some comebacks in this tournament. Boosh! All on the Rugops. Okay, yeah, there it is. Game over. <laughs> the Champions team denied the bonus point win, but gets the win nonetheless. And that will put them top 
and that will make guarantee that they finish top of Group C. And Loz and Jay, well, they're just going to have to hope that other results go their way. Yeah, that was really, that was really intense from the Chasmosaurus Champions team, showing us all why they're Champions team. In absolute insanity. Right, let's have a look at how Group C stands at the moment, and then we'll move on to our next match. Okay, Champions team guaranteeing top spot there. Even if MEJP10 gets a bonus point win, they will still be second by virtue of the fact that they lost to the Champions team. And then we have Loz and Jay clinging on to fourth there, clinging on. And this next match between Stranger Kid and MEJP10 is massive. If Stranger Kid wins, that will knock Loz and Jay out of the tournament. So yeah, if you're Loz and Jay, you're probably praying and hoping that MEJP10 wins this match. Ooh, interesting, in the volcano field. Well, it served Stranger Kid well last time against Mordra. Great, in the red corner for Stranger Kid, we got Parasaurolophus. Anything other than a win, uh, anything other than a win, will knock Stranger Kid out of the tournament. So yeah, they have to win this match. Backing up the power, we got Amplosaurus. Okay, so none of our guys have Fire or Earth Dinosaurs, so training advantage isn't it? isn't anything we need to worry about, but MEJP10 does have some blitz types, so yeah, expect another quick match. Right, for MEJP10, in the blue corner, we've got Eucentrosaurus, the blitz type Eucentrosaurus. You know what that means? This Eucentrosaurus will be starting with a crit, and it also has quick strike as well, so after it starts with a crit, it will go for scissors. Will it get them off? Well, we'll have to see, won't we? Backing up the Eucentrosaurus, we got the Blitz type Delta Dromius. Well, other than the first match, MEJP10 has kind of it's been hit and miss with the Blitz types. So we'll see what happens. I'm gonna pop to the toilet real quick before I explode. All right, sorry about that. Ah, oh, poo. Right. Oh, it's a tie. No blitz type this time. Oh well, the quick strike actually only activates when the button, when the time is on 10, so yeah. That is why Stranger Kid will get off a crit. And in fact, he would have got off a crit anyway. So yeah, the quick strike will go, will go for the quick strike as soon as the count is on 10. It was up in five, so I didn't go for the quick strike. So, when this resolves, we'll go for Quick Strike. Like so. And we'll swap as well. <laughs> Will they fall for the bluff? Oh, they don't! Stranger Kid doesn't fall for it. Another crit from the para. And well, if you're Loz and Jay, this is not a good... This is not the start you would have wanted. Alright, Delta Dromius is all on you. You are Blitz type, so you will also go for Scissors. Oh, he doesn't get it again! Stranger can get another crit! It's all going wrong for MEJP10 in this matchup. It's a tie. Oh, finally they get a crit! Finally! They won't get the blitz bonus, but, you know, maybe at least they got a crit. Slice, 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 slice! And with a type advantage, actually, yeah, do a decent amount of damage. Oh, the Stranger Kid gets the swap. Paris, uh, yeah, this is looking really good for Stranger Kid. Not if you're Lozenge. Atmosaurus coming in. Well, you need a miracle here, buddy. Ooh, Delta Dromius again, a neck crusher. Foosh, foosh, boosh. Another tie. Ooh, a ninja attack. It won't be, well, it definitely won't be lethal, but it'll do a lot of damage. And Stranger Kid get this hit which will finish the job. 
Okay, yeah, they can. <laughs> no mistake from Stranger Kid. They get the win. It's a bonus point win. And that win will knock Lozenge out of the tournament. For any JE10, well, damaging, damaging. Right, let's have a look at we, how we stand in Group C after that match. Massive result there for um, Stranger Kid. It puts Stranger Kid through to the last 32 round there. Currently in second place on 11 points. And second place is where they will stay. As Unless Carnotaurus Man gets a bonus point. So yeah, on to the big match now to conclude this group. Carnotaurus Man and Morsland. Right, what's interesting is a Carnotaurus Man doesn't even need to win this match. As long as they stop Morsla getting a bonus point win. And on this field, they're probably going to because this Carnotaurus has terrain advantage, yeah. All they have to do is take out one of Morsla's first dinosaurs and that's it. They're through. And wow, they've really come back into it after a really poor start. Right, backing up the Carno, we've got Sukabimus. Of course, the only problem is, if they finish fourth, they'll pr they'll end up facing whoever win a group winner, which I can't remember off the top of my head who it'll be, but yeah, it'll be tough no matter who it is. Right, for Morsla, in the blue corner, we got the Augustinia. So yeah, unfortunately for, for Mo Mouse, it is going to get hit first for the Carnotaur. It'll get hit by a paper, so it won't do too much damage. But yeah, anything, well, has to be a bonus point win. A bonus point win will knock Carnotaurus Man into fifth, and Morslet will qualify in fourth. And actually, I just remembered, whoever finishes fourth in Group C will face whoever wins Group E, which at the minute is me. And it probably will be me. So yes, the prize at stake for these two a match against our gracious host. Well, that's what Morsa will get if she gets a bonus point win. Right, first things first, terrain advantage. Carnotaurus man wanting to swap in the red, Morsa in the below half. Oh dear. Oh. Um. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh, and a shockwave as well, which basically stops the swap unless it's a tie. Wow. Um, it was quick. Well, Carnotaurus man, blowing my walls away. Wow, that was, that was, that was quick. Um, oh dear. What? <laughs> What a way to power to the tournament! Just getting shredded for the Carnotaurus. Yeah, a bit late now. So yeah, that actually com that will confirm Carnotaurus Man's place in the last 32 round and Moore's is an exit. But let's see if they can finish. Let's see if they can come back and finish on a high. And oh my god, <laughs> it's not even scratching the Carnotaurus. Tie. The tie did more damage. Oof. Don't want to get hit by the hurricane beat. Because it will be game over. The Carnotaurus man really storming into the last two ma Oh, oh, here comes a green impulse. But yeah, Carnotaurus man really impressing in the last couple of matches after such a poor start. Looking strong going into the last 32. As for Morslet, well, again, I think the fourth round match did the damage. If they had won that match, then, well, yeah, they'd probably still be going out, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, it's been really bruising, but hey, at least you're going out with a fight. But Carnotaurus is not going to get the swap out. So even with the type disadvantage, Umura Titan is going to take out the Carno. Sukumimus will get hit as well. Oh, here comes the water sword. Can Carnotaurus Man get the win? I mean, he'll want the win because 
then you'll avoid facing a possible matchup with our host, Stranger Gamer, in the last 32 rounds. So it is kind of important for Carnotaurus Man to win, because, as I said, don't want to face me. You don't want to face me. <laughs> but here comes another green impulse. Well, that's all she wrote for Green Impulse. We won't see any more of that. Another tie. Oh, I tell you what, Morslet finishing on a high. They got the win in the end. And a good win against Carnotaurus Mount. Uluru Titan has basically been carrying Morslet in this tournament, but. Yeah, the damage, unfortunately, was done early with a Carnotaurus killing Augustinia in two seconds. And yeah, Morselet at least finishing with a win. But unfortunately, it's not going to be enough, and they are going to bow out of this tournament. But going out on a high. As for Carnotaurus, man, they'll get a losing bonus point. I don't think it changes anything. And they're going to have a very probable daunting match against the hosts. Right, let's have a look at how Group C finishes, shall we? And then we can also have a look at the matchups for the last 32 rounds. So yeah, that's how Group C is going to finish, ladies and gentlemen. And look, look, look at, just look how tight it is at the bottom there. Look at that. The bonus points really making a difference. So yeah, we have the Champions team up top with 13 points. Stranger Kid right, storming up to second on 11 points there. MEJP10 in third place on 9 points. Carnotaurus Man also on 9 points, but in 4th place because they lost to MEJP10. And then Loz and Jay and Mouse bowing out of the tournament. But yeah, these can count themselves unlucky because, you know, very often when you get two wins, that does give you a chance to get out of the group stage. But yeah, it's just, they just came up short. They just came up short. So yeah, let's actually have a look at the map where these guys will be in the last 32 round. And I think there are some matchups that we're going to know already. So yeah, you can see the first one up here, the champions team take going up against, going to go up against Heady. Then we also have Stranger Kid going up against Toka Nightmare. Then we have MEJP10 will take on whoever finishes runner-up in Group D, which at the minute, man. But, you know, Group D is so tight, that's probably going to change. And then, a daunting match for Carnotaurus, man, as they will face either our host Stranger Gamer or Maastrician. And let's be honest, both of them have dominated Group E, so, yeah, it's going to be a really tough match for Carnotaurus, man. But they have picked up some form. So we'll see what happens here. So yeah, that's going to end this session here. So hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and stay tuned for next time where we'll conclude Group D. And until then, ta-ta. Mm -hmm.